You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your watch. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Well, there's Ma Dozum in the kitchen fixing dinner. Uh-oh, there's that flutterhead cousin Dozum just coming in the back door, all excited. Oh, would you believe it, Ma? I just met the nicest man, and I owe it all to Dozum. Now, cousin Dozum, I know Dozum is a wonderful new kind of soap, but how could it help you meet a man? Well, this nice man saw me buying Dozum at the corner store and asked me why. And I said, because Dozum does everything in the wash. Work shirts, towels, and rayons. Just everything. Yes, go on. Oh, he smiled so sweet like when I said, does it get his work shirts clean, too? Did you tell him there's no hard scrubbing with does? You know, you don't even need a bar soap anymore. Because does gets even Pa's grimiest overalls clean all by itself. Oh, I told him that, and he started walking home with me. He did? Yes, he said any girl who knew how to get his towels white was a friend of his. Isn't that exciting? Well, I hope you told him does get the streakiest towels white's a cloud. I've never seen whiter washes. Oh, yes, I told him. And then he said to me, do you does that pretty rayon blouse you're wearing? Well, you told him, didn't you, that does gives longer life to the delicate colors you wore. Oh, yes, Ma. Oh, I felt just like a schoolgirl. I looked into his eyes and I said, oh, does does everything. And he said, well, can it cook? And what did you say? No, but I can Oh, that cousin does them. But you know, she's right about does. It's the only leading wash day soap that combines so much safety for colors, along with so much cleaning power for the tough dirt and unsurpassed whiteness for your towels. Try does, D-U-Z. It does everything in your wash. And now the Goldbergs. If you tried to pin Molly down at this minute and ask her what she really believes about Grace... Well, I'm afraid Molly wouldn't be able to answer. Because this girl has seemed to be everything at once. A liar when she came to the Goldbergs posing as Sammy's wife, and a cheat because her purpose was to swindle them. When George, Grace's partner in crime, confessed to their motives, Molly tried to give the girl another chance to redeem herself. And it looked for a while as if she'd been successful, for Grace broke down and wept. But Grace hasn't changed. And what's more, she hasn't been heard from since she left the house to collect some extra money for the juvenile delinquency fund. Molly and Jake realize now that Grace is going to run away with that money. Listen. Jake, Jake, but why don't you come into the back seat with us and sit with me and David and let George drive, Molly, huh? Molly, please. I'm going to drive. Jake is going to drive, Molly. All right. All right. Are you seated? Yes, I'm seated. I'm, I'm, I'm seated. I'm seated. Yeah, just one minute. We don't start the car. One minute, Jay, darling. I forgot to tell Rosalie something. Please, no, don't start. One second. Rosalie! Rosalie, darling, stay in the house. Don't go no place. Don't go to the library. Stay. Maybe it'll be a telephone call. Maybe Grace will call anyway. And if she comes home, don't say where we went so what so big so that we was nervous. Molly, Molly, there's no time, Molly. Nervous. Let's get started, Mrs. Goldberg. Molly, Molly, Molly. All right, Molly. Molly. Only stay by the telephone and don't answer questions, only hello. Molly, we haven't had time. All right, Dolly. Goodbye, sweetheart. Goodbye, Angel. Goodbye, dear. Uh, let's get all, started. All right, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to start the car, Jake. Start Molly, the car. Molly, which way first? Which uh, way Where are the people who called you? Uh, where did Grace go first? Where did the Grace... Decus. Yeah. Yeah, the Deckers. The, the Deckers, the Deckers, the Deckers. That was the first stop, I think so. Yes. Yeah. So start, Jake. To start, Jake. I can't start until I know in which direction I'm going. Well, after she left the Deckers, in which direction did she go? After the Deckers? Yeah. Um, after the Deckers, she went to the Crawfords. The, the Crawfords. 
$50 she got from the Crawfords. And then? And then, and then she went to the Vermilius. The Vermilius. $200 she got from the Vermilius. Well, we'll go to the Vermilius first. If that was Grace's last stop. All right, so, so which way, uh, which way is the Vermilius? You don't know which way is the Vermilius? Molly, you don't know which way is the Vermilius. How should I know which way is the Vermilius? The, the Vermilius is not, is not from the town people. The Vermilius is summer people, I think. Thinking is no good, Molly. You have to know. I have to know. I have to know. I can know all the summer people. No, exactly. I don't know exactly the, the Vermilius. I, I think the Vermilius house is the Fuller house that was rented from the Fullers or the Scribners. If, um, if it's the Fuller house, so it's up by the cemetery and over, and if it's the Scribners house, so it's down by the railroad and across and up. I can't go this way and that way, Molly. Jay can't go this way and that way, Molly. Uh, let me go over to Martha and ask. Uh, wait, George. Besides, in any way. There's no besides. Go, George. There's no besides, Molly. All right, go, go, go over to Martha and George and ask her if she knows where the scribness is with the summer people. Go, George. All dear. right. Go, dear. All right. Go. Come in here. You want to know which one? The Vermilius. Vermilius with a V. The summer people. The summer folks. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's the Fuller House or the Stim House, or, but, mm, Jake, I mean, what point is it to go to the Vermilis? If I, I mean, if, if Grace left there already? At least we can drive up the road. We, we can drive up the road, Molly. Yeah. And meet Grace? And we meet Grace. All the money, Molly. What's going to be with all the money? Maybe, I don't know, but... If she said she went to take it for the delinquent children, maybe, maybe she, she could be coming home with the money, not? Are you willing to take that chance? I'm not. I'm not, Molly. If George is worried, you can be worried. He's her husband, and he knows her better than you or I. Yeah, he, he knows her better, Molly. Well, George? It's the Scribner place. The Scribner over, place. over the tracks in the hill. Oh, oh. Over the tracks and then up the hill. Get in the car, George. Get in the car, George. Get, get in the car, George. All right. It's the Scribner. It's the Scribner's place. See that star, Jake, darling? Star already? Oh, so it's the Scribner's place. Star, Jake. I didn't know if it's the Scribner's. I didn't know if it's the, the full no, no, place. I didn't know it's the Scribner's. J Jake, darling, straight. Straight. I know where the railroad tracks are. It's straight, Jake. Oh. George, it's a lot of money Grace has. It's a lot of money for us to have to make good. Yes, it was a mistake in the first place. I hope you heard that, Molly. You, you, you heard it, Molly? Not so fast, Jake, A please. little slower, Jake. A little slower. You you don't think it's possible that... Anything is possible, but a few things are probable. But slower, Jake, please. Grace didn't go and collect more funds because her heart was going out to the Lincoln children of Lesson. Hey, you! Get over on the wrong side of the road! You want the whole world? Take it! Can you imagine? Well, you, you, you was a little over, Jake. I was a little over. A little, Jake. I was a little. Jake, please, so you wasn't a little, so you wasn't. Look in front, Jake, please look in front. Let George drive. You're too nervous, Jake. Molly, Maybe. Molly, one more similar remark, and I'm stopping the car and the... Which way here? Straight by the station and over. Uh, how far from the station is the Scribner place? How far? I, I don't know how far. We, we was very... Picking their one. Answer my question directly, Molly. We didn't ask about balance. Well, how, uh, how far is was the question? Because I, I have to think how far. We walked and then when we was berry picking because we walked and we started and, and we started from the house directly after lunch and picked and, and, and we picked. Again and picked and picked. I don't know how far it is riding, Jake. Walking, walking it took from after lunch and four quarts of berries, and I was back scarcely... Scarcely what? Before Jay came home for supper, and we got a little hitch, and the rest we walked. That's how I know it's the way the train is coming. Oh, the train is going to pass the track now. We stopped the car, Jay, dear. Oh, stop the car. I will be car. held up now by the train. Maybe, maybe we can go under the trestle. There is no trestle. What train is this? What train is this? This is east, west, north, south, what bound? Does the train to New York? The 
336 East and West. Another delay. It wouldn't take long. It wouldn't take long. How long will it take the train comes in? Take a minute. That's the New York train. That's the train I took last year when I went to New York to see Mrs. Bloom when she was in the clinic. This train goes to New York, huh? 336 in, 336 in New York. Oh! Who's that? Oh, look at it. Few people is going to New York. Few people. You! Yeah. What's the you in, man? You! Yeah. What are you who? Nobody can I you who that Mary Foot's nephew. He was home on a furlough only now. Oh. Home on a furlough. He was gonna come over and he was so busy. He sees me, David. Yeah, he looks at you. Are you? <laughs> he didn't see me. Did yeah, he, see? he did. He... Yeah, me. Mrs. Goldberg, me. <laughs> he saw me? Yeah, he hears you. Sure. Fine, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful boy. Wonderful boy. Look what Uncle Sam did to him. 30 pounds, he, he, mm. Martha told me. 30 mm. pounds more. George. George. I see. Wait. What? What is Wait. it? Hurry, quick. What is it? Hurry, what? quick. Where is, he, where is he running? What Run. is it? What is it? What? Where? Hurry, George. Where is he hurrying, Molly? Oh. What is it? Quick. What is it, Molly? Quick. Oh, oh. Tell me what it is. I can't see. I can't see. Did George get on the train? Molly, why did he have to get on? Because, because Grace got on the train. And so Molly's experiment in reforming human nature seems to be a total flop. Grace is gone with the money. And Molly is left not only disappointed, but responsible for all the funds that Grace took with her. Well, it's true. Wishing for something won't make it happen. Of course, we still go on wishing, don't we? For instance, Unky Dozum is always wishing for things. Yesterday, Unky said... Wish I had as much gumption as them does suds. They stand up till every dish is done, but gosh, I have to sit down before I'm halfway through. <laughs> There's nothing halfway about does, Unky. This new kind of soap does everything in the wash and has everything for dishes, too. Does suds stand up till the last dish is done? Cut grease like 60, yet they're kinder to hands than any other leading granulated wash day soap. Honestly, does suds stand up through the greasiest pans. You don't keep adding soap. And does cuts grease in less than half a minute, yet it leaves hands soft and smooth. Why not get does? It has everything for dishes. And would you do this for victory? Don't waste does. All soaps contain vital war materials. So don't wash a few dishes. Wait till there's a pan full. See to it, every bit of does you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg. Molly realizes the full implication of her action, and we find out what George is up to. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your watch.